pulse oximetry is the measurement of oxygen saturation in arterial blood by using a non-invasive device usually connected to one of the fingers. A waveform and percentage saturation display are usually given. Pulse oximeters are routinely used in operating rooms, emergency rooms and intensive care units. Outside of the medical setting, they can be used by mountain climbers and pilots of unpressurized aircrafts to decide whether supplemental oxygen is needed at high altitudes. Usual normal range for pulse oximetry readings would be 95 to 99 percent. But in patients with chronic obstructive pulmonary disease, slightly lower levels may be acceptable. Principle of pulse oximetry The technique depends on the absorption of two wavelengths of light transmitted through a thin region of the body like finger or earlobe. Typically, the device transmits infrared and red light and receives the transmitted light in a sensor. The attached microprocessor calculates the amount of light absorbed in each wavelength and determines the oxygen saturation. Oxygen-rich hemoglobin absorbs more of infrared light and hemoglobin devoid of oxygen absorbs more of red light. Thus, it is able to compare between arterial and venous blood and display the arterial oxygen saturation which has a pulsatile flow. Limitations of Pulse Oximetry The technique gives only the percentage oxygen saturation of hemoglobin. In severe anemia, even if the oxygen saturation is good, actual tissue delivery of oxygen may be poor. Erroneous values may be obtained in hypoperfusion during use of vasoconstrictor drugs and with movement artifacts. A good tracing indicates intact blood flow to the finger. Tracing can be poor in case of a cold extremity which may sometimes need warming to display a good tracing. Wrong values can also occur in carbon monoxide and cyanide poisoning. Methemoglobinemia can also lead to erroneous values of pulse oximetry. Early detection of a fall in oxygen saturation often helps in preventive measures which often avert a crash in the hemodynamic status. The plethysmograph is obtained usually by keeping the sensor on the index finger and connecting it to the bedside monitor. Other than pulse oximeters attached to bedside monitors, small pulse oximeters are available which can be attached to the finger and the person can walk about. This is useful in monitoring the response of pulse rate and oxygen saturation to exercise. Multi-wavelength pulse oximeters can detect dishemoglobins. Here is an important journal reference. Thank you for watching this video. Please subscribe, like, share and post your valuable comment below this video.